Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to some more Crusader Kings 2. Alright, let's get ourselves up to speed here. And... No, actually, we... No, not yet. Alright. Uh, we got all their marriages taken care of. Do I want to arrange a betrothal for him? Uh... No, for now it's fine. Also... Uh, ooh. This is the Duke. Who's... Oh, is he gonna invite us to, um... Oh, he is. Oh. Well, even if I join the plot... Hmm. He's trying to re take that one. And he's the stronger character, right? No, he is the weaker one. Um... But if I'm not mistaken, I believe that particular plot needs... three backers to fire? Mm hmm. Oh, let's see. I'm currently going to decline. But since you have such a, a high opinion of me, I'm going to have him start fabricating some claims on your land. Because that way, when you get pissed off, it won't really matter. You'll like me anyways. So, oh, the peasant revolt, right. Huh. That might be... That'd be pretty interesting if they won. Let's see. So I haven't checked, but, uh... Yeah, 19. And... He is... Hmm. Uh... That... Is not good. Oh, I see. He controls that county. And I... So they arrived in my court then. Um, your... Brother. No. Sister? No. Who was it? Someone... A bunch of people from your court arrived, was it? Huh. Interesting. But... I wonder, if I were to go to the realm tree, you have 13 in our liege. Is he down here? No, he's up here. Has 16. Uh, yeah, I don't even think with my strength combined with his that I'd be able to fight him. So... It's a shame, and I don't even know for sure that he would join my wars. I mean, he likes me a, quite a bit, so, you know, there's a good chance, but... Uh... I don't know what that position is. Ah, uh, yes, this one. Um... No. plot to fabricate a claim on the duchy, but I would need, let's see, yeah, at least three backers there, and I don't think I'm gonna get that many. Yeah, there's one guy I could bribe, so no, that's not gonna happen. Hmm.
choose a patron deity. Yep. Fabricate, yeah, on the county. His opinion of me changes by minus 30 for 10 years. I don't think that... Yeah, I'm okay with that. Seems fine to me. Someone was imprisoned. Ah, oh, peasant revolt ended. Oh, that's a shame. It would have been more interesting if that had been won. Also, money spent. Hmm. Search for a goop. No, but I will hold the feast come October. Uh, my s Who did the murdering? Who, you... Why did you... You're plotting against me, aren't you? You are. I can just tell. Here, stop plotting against me. Um... Well, if you wanted to be on the council, congratulations, you're on the council. And... Do I want to choose a patron deity? Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I will. I want to, um... Marshal for diplomacy... I want Marshal. And what are my other choices? Marshal for learning. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm actually going to go with that, because the diplomacy is more useful to me than the learning. I really just don't need the learning at all, so... Plus, I think I read that this one gives me a different feast event, so... Yes. Yes, it does. Well, we'll see what the difference is in October. Or, we won't, because I haven't seen the original. But, you know. Are your twi titles on uh, Gavelkind, by chance? Yes, they are. Good. That makes me very happy. Means when he dies, his titles will be split between these two. Which will, you know, weaken the realm, make my job of moving up in it a lot easier. I mean, I still need to deal with this guy. But, one thing at a time. He was banished. Someone was released. Uh, redundant information. Uh, my wife is depressed. We haven't even had any children. It's probably because neither of us has ambitions related to it. Ah. Like her. She was... Yeah. She was uh, my father's wife. Um, I'm going to go with it's not appropriate, given the character and the fact that I don't particularly see a reason to er, the 36-year-old and start a uh, romance thing. Ah, oh, my niece. Who's smartest? I Let's see. Smartest. Well, it's good to see that the dynasty is growing. What are the unimportant messages? Uh, Converted to Buddhist. Someone see. Oh, is that my? Is that my brother? It is, isn't it? And no, they seek to kill him. Is that an? Who is? Why do you? Why are you trying? I don't... What are you... Why? Like, just... Why? I don't even remember which of these two it was who was trying to kill, but why? That's... Why do you want to kill him?
I won't imprison him yet, but I can't make promises for the future. Ah. Hmm. A small gift of gold. Uh, we're gonna go with charitable, being kind and honest. Lots of diplomacy, which means lots of relationship boost with everyone in all existence. Yay, money. Someone wants independence. Oh, there's factions brewing in the kingdom. I like that. That'll be even better once uh, he dies. probably get away with taking the city back, given that I have uh, such a great opinion bonus with everyone because of my diplomacy. A group of wandering Buddhist monks have come to visit the province. They are staging impressive shows of acrobatic, unarmed fighting techniques in the villages. Hmm. This seems like he would do, and it works with our thing. Well, it might have worked with our ambition if we been luckier. And my half-brother is a scholarly theologian. Hmm. Oh good, he's... So I have two ambitious brothers. They're the ones with uh, the strong claims as well. That's fantastic. Uh, I don't like him. He doesn't like me. I'm going to arrange his marriage to someone good, nonetheless. Um... Yeah, let's try and breed some geniuses into the dynasty. Who are you? You are... here. And this is... her? Yes, this is her. Okay. That'll do. Which means this brother is coming of age soon. This one in a couple more years after that. My wife is still not pregnant, uh, still depressed though, which, you know, isn't helping with that, fertility loss and all that. My marshal is still hurting the number of troops we get because it's so bad. Uh, now my brother has had a child, so that would be all of, hmm, well, all of my siblings except for me, have now, uh, had children, so... That's, um... Not really too desirable. But, uh, we'll remarry you to someone. And I want, still want to do a matrilineal marriage because stewardship and keeping this in the country for education purposes, but, um... Why don't we... Who have we got? A bunch of barons that I don't care to do. Um... Yeah, you know what? He's, he's a good choice, and we'll get uh, more prestige from that, so, you know. Who is he? Ah. He is... hmm. Is he... yeah. So he's... He's in the line of succession. He could theoretically get the title, but... It's not likely, at all. And he... which duchy is that? Way over there should have guessed bec that because they're Jane, but... Oh, I forgot to hold a feast! He's also very good traits. Uh, rank? Who have we got here? Ooh. Um, yes please. Very much so. 
lots of prestige, and that will get us claims on stuff in the family. We'll get us some claims onto a bunch of these titles once um, he dies. So she murdered her younger brother. Yep. And I suspect she might murder these two as well, which would put her as the second in line. Hmm. But I don't necessarily want her to inherit those titles, because this isn't the branch of the family that I'd be playing. But that is interesting. Yeah. I don't know, I can hold tiger hunts whenever. No. I want... I'd rather save the uh, money for this than hold a tiger hunt. But... Can I impress again? Right. My heir. Whose... Plot is never going to succeed at this rate. Um... Making my way home one night, I was escorted by bodyguard, a bunch of drunks fighting. Uh, the guards don't want me to go up to there, but uh, I think I could improve my marshal by fighting them. Uh, I've got a 50% chance of beating some people up. Let's go with that. Uh, ooh, nice. After ordering your guards back, you jo join the wild melee. As the ruffians become aware of your presence, they gang up on you, but you still are able to hold your own. You dodge their blows and land several of your own. Soon the peasants are lying unconscious at your feet in the mud. Thank you for the stance, gentlemen, but I must be off. Nice. Two marshal, fifteen prestige. Normally I get the one where I lose that fight, and thus lose prestige. Yeah, almost to the point. If I do this now, I should have enough for Oc be able to have enough gold by October to hold this feast. But yeah, I'll not, I'm not gonna. Well, elephants. An elephant has gone crazy and is running amok in the town outside the castle. It has already killed several people. What shall we do? Um. I think the kind and charitable guy is probably going to try and capture it. Excellent. Local revolt risk, minus five. I don't think there was any revolt risk to begin with. No, especially because of the revolt uh, crushed elsewhere in the realm, so I now have minus six revolt risk in the province. Yay. It is now October. All right, let's hold the Kali Puja feast. To properly celebrate the seasonal feast, you shall invite all your vassals. Oh yeah, lots of those. You have your scribe write the letters and send them off. The messenger's satchels decorated with flowers. It will be a grand feast. Uh, gift for my spouse. Jeweled necklace. A uh, kind, charitable guy will spend the money. Which also means it's good that I didn't get that. Uh, someone has converted. Good for them. Who is that? Not her. I don't really know who else in my court has what religion, so, you know. Hmm. The castle is decorated with flowers and colorful, colorful tapestries, carpets and ribbons. All the guests have arrived. There is a bustle of people, and all eager and full of festive spirits. It's time for the feast to begin. Welcome, all. Yeah, that was pretty terrible narration, I'd say. Oh, a snake charmer. Sings odd tones, the snakes he brought in a basket. He controls the snakes with his voice and music. Fascinating, but it didn't seem to do anything. Uh, she's overjoyed by the gift, so 25% opinion boost and possibility of falling in love. Did not fall in love. Uh, sit down, please, with how things turned out. I should do this again next year. 
The darkest night of the Kalipunja is here, the most important night of the feast. Candles are lit everywhere, placed inside human skulls. Hmm. The guests stroll across the painted and decorated floor, carrying various symbols of time, death, and change. Homage is offered to the beautiful and terrifying four-armed idols with swords, skulls, and severed heads in their hands. Let the ceremonies begin. Several black goats are brought forth by the priests. The goats are laid down below a large statue of Kali, and their throats are cut open. The blood is collected in the bowls made of human skulls and presented to the crowd. A chanting arises, then a cheer, as the holy sacrifice to the goddess of death, time, and of the blackest night has been made. Praise Kali, our mother. Ooh, 30 karma. Nice. Well, I think with the end of that feast, that's going to do it for this episode. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope you'll join me again next time.